I am very pleasantly surprised at the response that I have gotten to the release of my newsletter product, which I'm calling The Nature of Software. The one that is, it's going to be at least 17 issues. It's going to be a serialized essay. I mean, it's effectively a book um, that subscribers get, um, you know, as I write it. They, yeah, I mean, it's uh, sort of a follow-along, you know, subscriber-only product. This is the first time that I have gotten an income from something where somebody is, is paying their own money for it, and furthermore, because they actually want to, you know... Um, Almost exclusively, I have gotten my, my income from companies. So it's almost always somebody else's money, in the, unless it's the rare case that it's a CEO themselves, an owner, you know, principal shareholder, in which case it's basically their money. But, you know, it's, it's always like, you know, bogged down by his sort of prudential matters of fiscal, uh, what do you call it, fiduciary uh, responsibility, making sure that the most, doing the most prudent thing with the money and, you know, or they're going to the board or what have you. And the sort of directness and clarity of this and actually making something for people is a new experience to me, you know, prior to the first I was, I was going to say prior to yesterday, but prior to the first, you know, you know, people trickling in when I announced it a couple of weeks ago, I had never really experienced that before, I don't think. Um, so that's interesting. And, you know, I, I have, I want to say an issue, but let's just say that I have opinions about, you know, getting paid for things and paying for things, you know, uh, where it's effectively data and the sort of the marginal cost of, you know, of the bits is asymptotically nothing. Um, and concern that I've had, you know, it's effectively if the bits, you know, cost nothing, then, then what, wh why, what, what, what are you paying for? And, um, you know, a lot of, I, I've written about this and I've done, done stuff about it and you can, I kind of think of it, it's like you got an axis or you got two axes where you, you, uh, one of them is kind of like the alignment of the actual, like the value of the actual content versus the value of the, the person or like the, um, or being oriented toward the person. Cause you sort of think about like where, like, I sort of think about it, it's like at the top, one of the top corners, you got something like a Bloomberg terminal, where the information, you know, like a Bloomberg terminal costs something like 1500 bucks a month to rent, you can't, or you lease it, you can't, you can't own it. Um, and the story of it is that the, the, uh, there's the information in a Bloomberg terminal is valuable enough, you know, you're getting your stocks like, you know, instantaneously instead of 15 minute delay or whatever it really is what it sort of reduces to. Um, and that's, you know, you'll make your $1,500 back is kind of the ar argument there. And so it's like, as an information product, you know, your like, that is, that is sort of the most straightforward possible, um, configuration, you know, and then you contrast that with like ad supported content. So like anything on like, especially on the sort of like, you know, Gawker era or, uh, you know, kind of really heavily or like, you know, business insider, or those kinds of tech crunch, that kind of stuff where the content is basically garbage and, you know, they, they, I mean, to the extent that, would be, and by that, I just mean like, they clearly don't care about it because they put so many ads on it that like, 
you know, all they care about is that you show up on the website for some reason. They don't care if you read the articles because like, what they want you to do is click on the ads. And then the, you know, the sort of news publications, the extent to which that, so there's a bit of a continuum there, but not much. And then you kind of move over down the axis where you've got like patronage, where you've got the, the reason why the people are giving the money is because they are they want to pay the person. So yeah, so I had two axes, content centric versus author centric, and then like the ostensible value of the content is low or high. Um, so like content centric low value is ad supported or it is an ad. Content centric high value is something like a Bloomberg terminal. Uh, author centric low ostensible value is just straight patronage and then like author centric high ostensible value is like fandom but i was thinking about um kevin kelly wrote a uh, like years ago wrote a article called better than free and uh, in it he posits eight he called them generatives. Like, cause the argument is basically, yeah, it's like if you can copy the bits for free, then like why, what, why charge? What is the, what is the basis? What are you charging for? And so he had these eight criteria that he used to contemplate. Uh, what did he say? He said immediacy. So the thing you get sooner than later personalization, you get it, you know, made for you interpretation you're getting somebody's you know particular spin on something authenticity you're making sure that the thing you're getting is the thing you thought you were getting uh accessibility um what is accessibility what do you mean by that oh accessibility is kind of like a, more like availability um you know so basically uptime uh, embodiment is a physical artifact. Patronage is patronage. And findability, and which I would call it more like discovery. Um, I mean, because findability of a particular thing versus discovery of things you didn't know you wanted. Um, you know, and it's like, yeah, okay, like that stuff is sort of, that stuff is worth paying for. And when I sort of thought about this, you know, this product in particular, I was like, well, what are you paying for? And, you know, I think the immediacy is definitely, definitely a thing. And, you know, in the interpretation, there's a bit of patronage in there as well. And I mean, you're never going to get completely away from that, but it's not what I'm concentrating on. I'm trying to kind of make it, trying to make it content centric, more about the immediacy. That's kind of the, the value proposition. What else? Um, I wrote some C yesterday. I hate writing C, um, but uh, I actually, I'm gonna get uh, buddy Kartik Agaram to uh, help me do, do Valgrind on it. Um, but, uh, cause I never, I never learned how to do that properly. It's like, I can bash it out and then it's like, uh, now what? Anyway, so yeah, gonna write some stuff today too. Um, and uh, now I'm going to finish my coffee.